Challenge 2020. Um, uh, I'm Wayne. I'm going to change my intro next week. I'm just going to say welcome to the challenge because uh, I'm trying to cut down the time I do my videos and trying to get more into it because there's so much happening at the moment. So, as of um, yesterday, I'm in self isolation. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Quick shout out first of all Disney being there, done that. Thank you. She was one of my first Instagram followers and she's absolutely wonderful. Uh, really, really nice. Uh, Disney family with kids, love you guys too, you're wonderful, I love you, and um, they're just really, really, generally nice people, so that's my, my shout out for you too. So, very quickly, I'm now in isolation, I'm allowed to open a window, I'm going to sh flash up a text I received yesterday from the British government, well, that's, it's a lovely way to do it, isn't it, I thought I was going to get a letter, but they just sent me a text message, so here goes, uh, there should be a one flashing up about now. Yep, yeah. okay, so the text message, as you just saw it, uh, I flashed up for as long as I could, um, says that I basically now have to self isolate for 12 weeks and I can have a window open, and that's it. However, there are phone lines which have been set up for people like me. Um, specifically who cannot leave the house because I am the highest risk category above most pretty much everyone and I cannot go out so um, I've been trying to order food don't please don't worry I have enough food okay I don't want people thinking that but I just want to give people an idea of what happens so this is a number a priority number there we go it won't even ring Okay, that's one of the major food suppliers who wants us to ring, people like us to ring them to get priority shopping, and it's not working. That's also Walmart, Asda's, Tesco's, Sainsbury's, every single person, when we're trying to get put through to be priority, is not taking calls for people like me who are now in forced isolation because we can't go out. So in a couple of weeks time, we're going to hit big problems because we will not be able to get food. Please don't worry about me. I have family, I have friends and they're all going to be able to looking after me. Um, we'll find a way of getting food into our house. Um, but obviously what you're seeing on some of the news isn't quite true. And I just wanted to put that right now just so people can understand it's not easy. <laughs> um, however, I'm trying to sort things out. Um, so. Uh, I've done my shout outs, I've told people what's going on, you see my text message, you now know I'm in self-isolation, going to try and do some interesting vlogs. I've got some ideas, um, I'll go through them and we'll see how, how, how they end up. Um, so, um, as of uh, about 8 o'clock, half past 8 yesterday, our Prime Minister went online and he's put the whole country into lockdown, so there are lots of people like me out there. Um, however, most normal fit healthy people can walk to the shops to get their groceries. If they're not more than two people and you walk to the shops, you don't socialise, you don't stop around your friend's house for a cup of coffee, you can go to the shops and you can get food. These phone lines are set up for the people like me. Um, and we, I need to eat food and my family need to eat food. And please remember, I also have an autistic child who has specific eater, eating habits as well. And there are certain foods that he likes. And so it's even harder from the perspective of the fact that I'm self-isolated. He needs special foods. And we haven't really been given much in the line of um, support. Just being told that we have to stay in. But don't worry, we won't be making plans. So... Um, I'm not going to say too much on this vlog today. This is really weird because I haven't actually done a vlog midweek like this before. Uh, sorry it's from my room. I'm going to try and do some different vlogs from different rooms in my house when I can tidy it up or more and I'll make it look a bit tidier. The kids are causing chaos. Um, but uh, yes, so it's, it's strange times for everyone. Everyone hang in there. I know you've all got your own problems. Um, uh, and a very quick shout out as well. It's not just the frontline services in the NHS who are at the moment who are going through the war. You've got you've got 
chemists, microbiologists, radiologists, you've got physiotherapists, you've got absolutely everyone in the NHS, the microbiologists, the phlebotomists, um, they're, they're, they're all going through a rough time now as, as well as the frontline services, everyone in the NHS, the blood riders who deliver bloods to hospitals, everyone in the NHS, it's not just the frontline, everyone in the NHS is a family and um, it's my way of saying sorry I can't be with you now, I know I need to be there, I know I need to be helping people and I can't be there so I feel terrible. Um, uh, so uh, I'm, I'm with you on my YouTube channel <laughs> so you know I'm there for you. Um, uh, that's all I can really say for now. I'm going to try and do a more upbeat. My next vlog I'm going to do is going to be nothing to do with COVID-19 because I think we just need a break from it and I'm going to try and do a fun, something fun and um, so that would be, be more interesting. I've babbled on for five minutes. Thank you if you stuck with it. Uh, sorry I can't be back at work. I'm actually um, uh, still in contact with the people from work so I can let people know what's going on and um, this is my way of staying in contact with the world. It would be nice if you, like I said, if you could hit the subscribe button. Can someone tell me which side I'm pointing to here because I'm not sure. My Instagram button up there. Um, and then we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm going to post a video on Instagram with this title on it. Um, and we'll see how it goes, I think. Anyway, so um, good luck and I shall see you hopefully on Sunday and I'm going to try and video some things I'm doing around the house and maybe games we're playing with the kids to keep them entertained. Uh, everyone's doing their own um, their own little things at the moment. However, unlike uh, we don't have a country estate, we don't have a massive house, we're in the middle of a, of a set of other houses and we can't walk outside. We have a very small garden. Um, so uh, we'll try our best to do what we can do and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay guys, I'll see you Sunday night. Okay, bye.